In a distant mountain monastery lived the wise Zen master Zen, known for his deep grasp of Buddha's teachings. His serenity and wisdom drew disciples, including the young monk Liang. Master Zen often said, true enlightenment is found in the silence of one's own mind. Liang had been at the monastery for several years, diligently practicing meditation and studying the sutras. However, there was a question that lingered in his mind, a question about morality and justice that he could not find an answer to in the ancient texts. One day, as the autumn leaves began to fall, Liang approached Master Zhen with a sense of urgency. Master, he said, bowing respectfully, I have been pondering a question that troubles my heart. In a world where injustice and wrongdoing are prevalent, what should one do? How should one respond? Master Zhen gazed at Liang with gentle, understanding eyes, recognizing the sincerity and depth of his query. With a warm smile, he responded, Liang, the question you've raised is indeed significant and deserves thoughtful consideration. Let us take a leisurely stroll through the tranquil garden as we walk amidst the beauty of nature. Surrounded by the harmonious blend of colors and scents, we may find the clarity and insight needed to address your concerns. Together, let's embark on this journey of discovery and explore the depths of wisdom that your question holds as they meandered through the tranquil garden of the monastery. With majestic pines stretching up to the ski and the gentler melodies of nature filling the air, Master Zen started to share his wisdom. Liang, he said with a calm voice that seemed to blend with the peaceful surroundings. In our journey through life, we often face various disruptions. These are like the ripples that form on the surface of a calm pond. They can arise from our own inner thoughts and feelings, or they might be caused by the actions and words of other people around us. The important thing to remember, Liang, is to not let these surface ripples disturb the deep, quiet waters of your inner self. Keep your core undisturbed and peaceful, no matter what happens on the surface. Liang paid close attention as Master Zhen elaborated on his teachings. Take a moment to observe the bamboo that grows in our garden, the master suggested. Notice how it sways gracefully with the wind, bending but never snapping. It's firmly rooted in the ground, yet it moves with a remarkable flexibility. This is a lesson for us all. In life, especially when we encounter unfairness or harmful actions, it's crucial to be strong and resilient, like the bamboo. We should stand firm in our values, but also be willing to adapt to the situation. However, the most crucial aspect of all this is to keep a calm and peaceful mind. Just like the bamboo remains serene in the face of strong winds, we too should strive to maintain our inner peace amidst the chaos of the world. They arrived at a small, tranquil pond, its surface smooth and mirror-like, perfectly reflecting the surrounding trees and the clear blue sky. Master Zhen bent down and picked up a small pebble from the ground. With a gentle flick of his wrist, he tossed it into the center of the pond. The pebble broke the surface of the water with a soft plop, sending out a series of ripples that spread across the pond, distorting the once clear reflections of the trees and sky. Watch the water closely, Liang, Master Zhen said, gesturing towards the pond. Notice how the ripples disrupt the calm surface, creating chaos where there was once tranquility. But pay attention to what happens next. Liang observed intently as the ripples slowly lost their momentum, the disturbances they caused becoming smaller and smaller until they disappeared altogether. The pond's surface returned to its original state of calmness, once again reflecting the world around it with perfect clarity. This is the nature of all things in life, Liang, Master Zhen explained. Everything is temporary, like the ripples on this pond. Problems and disturbances may arise, but they will eventually fade away, leaving behind tranquility. Understanding this impermanence is key to finding inner peace. 
As they made their way back to the monastery, Liang and Master Zhen walked side by side in a thoughtful quietness. Liang was deep in thought, pondering the wisdom shared by his master. He began to understand that Master Zhen's teachings extended beyond just dealing with unfair situations. They were, in fact, deep insights into how to live life itself. Liang realized that the key to a peaceful and wise life was to let go of the need to control everything, to stop being overly attached to how things should turn out. Instead, he learned the importance of maintaining a calm and steady mind, no matter what life threw at him. This inner tranquility would act like a steady rudder, guiding him gracefully through the choppy and unpredictable seas of life. By embracing this approach, Liang felt a newfound sense of freedom and clarity, ready to face the world with a serene heart and a wise mind. From that moment forward, Liang wholeheartedly adopted the principle of just leave silently as a guiding philosophy in his life. He began to practice this approach not only when confronted with situations of injustice, but also in his everyday interactions and personal challenges. Instead of reacting impulsively or getting entangled in conflicts, he chose to step back, observe, and maintain a calm and composed demeanor. By doing so, he discovered an immense sense of liberation and inner tranquility that had previously eluded him. This transformation did not go unnoticed by those around him. His fellow monks and the people he encountered began to see him as a source of inspiration and guidance. Liang's ability to remain serene and centered, regardless of the circumstances, made him a shining example of the true essence of Zen. His journey became a testament to the power of silence and non-reaction in leading a life of harmony and enlightenment.